Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Thomas Talks About. You know what they say, you gotta make it until you fake it. No, that was the other way around. You gotta fake it until you make it. Okay, today we are going to discover my creative personality. I've done this before several times, but like a month ago somebody sent me a link. It is by Adobe Create and um, yeah. Uh, there you can find out about the creative types that exist and which one you are and I did it and as I don't remember what the outcome was I thought to myself why not just uh, do it again and yeah record myself while doing it so let's get started that's what it is creative types discover your creative personality start test okay when traveling, you always need a destination or direction. You know, they leave it very open. It's, I think there's a lot of interpretation, but even those interpretations um, lead to, to certain um, conclusions. So I don't even, sometimes I don't even know what they mean, what they want to know. And I think that's exactly the point of this exercise. So when traveling, you always need a direction or destination. Um, I need a direction. I need a specific direction. I didn't used to because uh, when I was younger I did travel a lot. Um, I traveled through uh, Central America and I didn't have a clue where I would end up the next day. But I've changed and I don't know if that's normal to change and things like that. I guess it is. But yeah, so I will, um, I will select direction. My brain spends more time in the zone, zoning out. This one's easy, zoning out. All the time, all the time. Okay. Um, I tend to see life through the lens of systems or through the lens of stories. I consider myself a storyteller, so stories. It is. Um, next question. Are you a ruler or a scribble? Hmm, good one. Am I a ruler or a scribble? I think I'm a scribble. I'd rather be in a cocoon or in a beehive. I'd say the cocoon because the cocoon uh, to me means security, it means a, a safe place and many times that's what, I, um, what I'm looking for where I feel very um, comfortable and when I have to go out of this uh, comfort zone it really it costs me a lot so a cocoon it is. If you are going to do this test also um, don't skip those animations they're pretty fun to watch I, I skip them now just to get uh, faster to, to the result um, but if you have the time check them out. Dip your toes or dive in head first. I dip the toes, okay. My door is wide open, usually closed. Well, right now the door is closed and that's the way I prefer it. Um, I don't know, I feel strange if I'm working, if I'm doing stuff and the door is open. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. So, usually closed. Updates are ready to install. <laughs> okay, updates are ready to install. Um, Restart now, remind me tomorrow. Easy one. Remind me tomorrow and then remind me tomorrow. I would just wish there was a, a button which says don't remind me, I don't want to do it now, I don't want to do it tomorrow, I will do it when I want to. My first question is always why or how? Mm, I have to think about this one. Why? I feel like I do both of those questions, but um, I think it starts with the why. I think I, I question the question before. So, does that even make sense? I think so. Secret weapon. Curiosity, endurance. Okay, here's the thing. I think I'm totally uh, the curious type versus the endurance type, but um, we are right now in lockdown. We have been for almost three months um, here in Colombia and I found out a new character trait, uh, the endurance. I've been um, starting new endeavors, uh, new projects 
and I have done that before but many times I've just lost motivation on the way but uh, during those three months I have endured and I'm pretty um, and now I'm pretty proud of myself because of that but still I will go for the curiosity type I'd rather talk to someone I just met or myself. Hmm, difficult one because I do talk to myself, but I also like to talk to people that I just uh, met. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty open book sometimes, so... Mm, mm, I'd rather talk to... Mm, I'm really not sure which one to choose, but... You know, I really enjoy time by myself, so... <sighs> or no. Okay, let's just go with uh, someone I just met. Everything is connected, true or false? True. Don't ask me why. Just my gut feeling. Are you a fortune cookie or a birthday cake? Uh, funny thing is, I don't like either, but if I were to choose, I mean, I have to choose between those two, I think I'd rather go with the birthday cake. I'm really wondering who made up these questions and why. Like, um, I'd like to dig in deeper and talk to the person who made this or the, the people, I guess it was more than one. So. Um, would be really interesting to, to understand how they came up with these questions. My creativity is more method or madness? Madness, I think. I'm trying to work uh, towards method um, because I think you need method, you need structure. Um, but in my case, it's more madness. I did a project um, like a month ago. It was about domestic uh, violence and it was just madness. I didn't have method at all. It came out pretty nice, I think, but yeah, I would have done many things differently if I had to do it again. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it just uh, started to rain. Okay, I tend to go over the top under the radar. You know what, I think I should go and check the windows first. Okay, my bedroom is completely wet, so I will have to um, clean that up first. And then we go back to, I tend to go over the top or under the radar. I already know the answer. Okay, I'm back. And let's continue with the question. I tend to go over the top or under the radar. Um, easy one, under the radar. Over the... Is it though? The last time I remember I said, I'm going under the radar and my wife just uh, broke out laughing you're totally over the top so I uh, now I'm unsure I thought it was an easy one but I don't know no okay no let's do this I'm on YouTube now so um, if I wanted to go under the radar I think uh, I wouldn't be on YouTube so let's go with over the top although I don't know it just doesn't feel right but it must be right Okay, we've done it. You're the visionary. Imagining the impossible. Let's see what it says. Full of big ideas. Ability to see potential and possibility everywhere. Untapped potential. Using your visions to fuel consistent daily action. Ideal collaborator. The thinker. I want, we should collaborate. I think that's a little bit too much to, to um, read, so just the most important stuff. Um, emotional, passion driven and full of ideas. I think that's true. Charismatic and expressive. I think that's true as well. I love sharing my ideas and visions with others and creating community. Absolutely, absolutely yes. Um, and here's uh, something nice. Um, don't get stuck in the dreaming stage, visionary. Your greatest challenge and true power lies in learning to take consistent daily action to create the future you envision. 
You know, it's funny because uh, like two months ago, um, I only started with uh, several new projects and I, I feel like I'm doing exactly what they are telling me to do. Like um, I'm taking action and I didn't do that before, at least not to the extent that I, I should have. And the last uh, paragraph says, seek out the voice of reason of the thinker type to help you take a grounded, rational approach to your creative work. The thinker's deep perception and probing intellect lend a powerful clarity that can bring your visions into sharper focus. That's awesome. Like, I really, really love this. And I, I also took the time to read some of the other um, creative uh, types. And yeah, I just want to invite you to do this as well. You will find uh, out many interesting uh, things about you. And I think um, it's just on point. Yeah, it was really fun. So do it also and let me know what type you are. And maybe we should collaborate together or you should look for people that are your complement. So have fun with finding out who your creative type is. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time in the next video. Take care and peace out.